Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to share this section with y'all. Uh, so this is all about YouTube and the power of search engine optimization. You see, whenever anybody is looking for a house, they're going to start going through their research process. And part of the research process and, and what I found to be a huge hole in the market is going to be all about um, hyper-local search engine optimization. So YouTube is, is like an un, untapped gold mine for real estate agents. And uh, the reason I say this is because the last couple of listings that I took were actually from YouTube. And what I've been doing, and this is a strategy that I would highly recommend that you start to implement as part of your business plan. Now, this is more of a long-term strategy versus a short-term because you might not see a, a return from this right away. Um, you see, I just um, signed a listing. I actually got it sold uh, a few, couple weeks ago uh, from a YouTube video that I created about two years ago. Now, why that's important is because I wasn't even thinking about that on the day that I got the phone call from the seller uh, that had a house to sell. And, and really what I want you to start thinking about is every single city, every single state in the United States has different communities, has different neighborhoods, has different builders uh, that are in those markets. And those are what you would call hyper-local uh, different categories or topics. So... I want you to think of how you can start to build uh, video content where maybe you're visiting a, a certain builder in, in your city. So say uh, San, Meritage Homes in San Antonio. I'm going to go out to Meritage Homes and I'm going to create a video piece of video content. And then I'm going to make sure that when I upload that video into YouTube that it has the tagline San Antonio, Meritage Homes San Antonio. And... Uh, what you'll start to find is when you continuously do this, uh, so uh, for example, another example is San Antonio has a neighborhood called West Creek. So if you um, YouTube West Creek, um, uh, San Antonio West Creek, uh, or homes, homes in West Creek, uh, you want to be found as the expert in that little niche market. And the more content, the more volume of content that you can continuously put out for different hyper-local search keywords like, like uh, West Creek San Antonio or, or um, Lenar Homes San Antonio, then what, people, what will start to happen over time is people will start to find you. Then they'll see your face and they'll know your name because of the videos and the content that you're putting out talking about different topics. And this is an extremely valuable strategy and it's a complete blue ocean because uh, there's not a whole ton of realtors doing that. Um, a lot of the agents that are out there building content are on the social platforms, which is great as well. Uh, but the thing about social media is once you put that content out there, it's going to stick around for a little bit. But then what's going to happen, it's going to get buried down in the news feed. People are no longer going to see it. So I want you to think of everything you do as a long play. Uh, I want you to think of, of every video and con piece of content that you create. How can I make this uh, quality content and how can I make this lasting content? That doesn't matter if somebody sees it today or sees it two years from now. The value or, or the, the content that you're delivering is still relevant uh, even four or five years in the future. Uh, you're going to start to see... Um, more people, and it doesn't always have to be a sales pitch when you come into this. Uh, what you want to do, and one of the secrets behind getting uh, a video ranking on YouTube and, and getting content up there so, so people can find it, is, um, is, is increasing the amount of minutes watched. Uh, so really, um, you want to create a, um, a, a, an image that people are going to click on first and foremost. And then once people click on that image, when you start your video, I want you to explain at the beginning of your video what they can expect to hear or learn if they continue watching that video. That's going to increase the number of minutes watched on that piece of video content that you're creating. And ultimately what YouTube is going to do is it's going to rank it higher. Uh, so that way uh, it stays up there when people are searching for uh, San Antonio uh, uh, down payment assistance programs or um, so for example if I was creating a video on YouTube about San Antonio down payment assistance programs I may uh, go onto a website called um, either fiverr.com and have a cover image made 
or I may actually go on to like canva.com and, and create my own little cover image, uh, put it on there, and then when the video opens, what I'm going to do is, hey there, this is John Jacoby. Um, I'm excited to, to share this content with you. Um, you now, if you stick around and watch this video, I'm going to talk to you about uh, five different sources where you can get down payment assistance from the city of San Antonio. It's going to help you get into your house uh, with putting very, very little money down and uh, and most people aren't talking about these, so this is probably the only place you're going to hear hear about them. Uh, so continue watching. Uh, please like and share this content if you find it valuable. And then, uh, okay, so the first topic that we have, or the first type, is the HIP program, uh, so on and so forth. So that gives you an example how you should structure your YouTube videos to get them found, get people to click on them, hook them, so that way you can accrue minutes watched on your video, so you can get your, your content ranked on YouTube and become the hyper local search expert for your market. Hope this was plenty of value. If you have any questions or need any further assistance, um, would love to, to uh, chat with you one-on-one -on -one. and uh, thank you for attending this course and I will see you on the next one.